Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers. If you're a new subscriber or looking to subscribe, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button before you leave. Hi guys, tip number one. You've got your clubs. You may have just bought them from a shop, a charity shop, or somebody's given you. Or you've had them for a few years. And you're thinking, how can I improve my game? Well, here's the first tip. You look at this club. It's still got a demo on it. I don't think you can probably see how bad it is in this light. Leave out the ways if you can see it. No. Um, I'll, I'll give you a close up of it shortly. Um, but what I'd recommend you to do is get yourself some new grips. Uh, let me just. So, you get yourself some new grips. Something like that. Which is brand new. So it's like a brand new club. And they start off from about £5 up to about £15, depending on where you want to spend. And you can also get your putter done, which I've had done as well. Obviously, it's not an Odyssey. It's pink. <laughs> but they reckon this kind of grip improves your putting. So, if your clubs are looking a bit weary, a bit tired, need a bit of a sprucing up, first tip I will give you, you can get your grips done. Decide on what clubs you use. Some you may not use, you may not use your three iron, you may not use your four iron. Um, the clubs that you have got, that you use regularly, get them re-gripped. That's tip number one. Hi right, guys, so you downloaded your app, you made your way to your local centre, obviously the one near me is the Trafford Centre, come down here, scan your code on the machine, and it syncs to your phone, and then it'll give you a record then of how many, how many yards you've hit with each club, might not be accurate, but depends how you're swinging at the time, it'll give you a good idea when you're on the course. So that's tip number two. Hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, right, range finders. I've always said, I don't, I don't need a range finder, I know how far I can hit the ball. Um, well, what I'll do, I'm going to change that, because I bought a cheap one off eBay. You see the name of it there, that way. No, nope, that way. And I'll put a picture of what you see when you look through it up now, in the corner, or over there, wherever I put it. But it tells you how far away it is to the pin. So you might get to this hole here, which is from the yellows 130, 133. And it's about 1, 150 to the flag. So then, obviously, you've been to, you know what your top tracer distances are. So then you think, right, I know what to hit. Right, guys, so on that, it was actually 150 to the pin. And I probably should have used an 8, a 7 I used an 8, and it's come short, which is right. I told myself out of it by using an 8. That's good. Shorts, you see it. 
Oh. There's the ball, just over there. And obviously, the pin. So it was short. So, yeah. Anyway, about 7 iron, about 150 odd yards. Um, probably in winter, probably would do. You probably will get to this hole in a, with an 8 iron in the summer. So, yeah, that's tip number. I don't know where I'm up to, can't remember, never mind. <laughs>